more is to make sure that any military conflicts will not um, happen. Because when I say military conflict, I do mean uh, firing shots. Because once shots are fired, it would escalate. It would be a, what is called what is known as a security spiral, as one side, you know, so would up the ante. So I think that the very firm uh, protocol must be uh, mandated on both sides to make sure that this doesn't happen. Secondly, um, I think that there needs to be uh, maybe a joint investigation or joint dialogue as to what happened actually happened on that day, uh, regardless of the dispute uh, of that. Uh, status of that area. But last uh, but not least, but most important, is to decide uh, on this dispute uh, over the um, the status of this uh, particular spot of area, Kao Kao Wan, whether it's within the line of control on either side. And this cannot be resolved by the military commanders. It's got to be elevated to the very high level between two okay. countries. Well, uh, I think that um, uh, even in the past conflicts, for example, there was another uh, standoff in Dog Lab, uh, was it last year or uh, and so, and then this was eventually resolved. And of course, there were uh, different uh, versions of the story as to what happened in Dog Lab, but eventually through dialogue, this was resolved. And I don't see why uh, these two issues which I highlighted, uh, the question of uh, who owns this piece of land, uh, this area, um, if there was a dispute, well, it needs to be talked um, and discussed uh, because the, this, this kind of um, uh, question of sovereignty is not going to be resolved uh, just by a shouting match. Uh, secondly, what actually happened on that very day? Well, I mean, India, um, the latest report is the loss of 20 lives, but there was also a report from the Chinese side, they lost twice as many lives as well. According to the Chinese reports, okay, there are no means of verifying that, but there was a report on the um, international media as well. So I think that there are loss of lives, unfortunately, on both sides. But I think the loss of lives is unfortunate because these two issues have not been adequately resolved. Um, the question of um, uh, the status of this piece of, uh, of this area, and secondly, what actually happened on that day. I think, I think that the, um, um, the Indian government, um, because there was an earlier um, uh, suggestion, earlier offer from President Trump that he would intervene, but I think that um, uh, Indian uh, government, I think President Modi wisely uh, rejected that uh, because that only complicates matters. Because of course, uh, let's not forget that there is a, a 360 degrees wiry uh, between the United States and China. Whereas India, of course, stands on the side of the United States as a kind of united front. Uh, but on the, on the other hand, this would elevate uh, this kind of incident uh, to a global uh, kind of conflict. And of course, China is not backing down even against the United States. So I think right. it only complicates matters. I don't think that uh, the involvement of any other countries is going to help. After all, it's a bilateral border dispute. It's not got in, not, nothing to do with, with the United States. It's got nothing to do with uh, Pakistan <laughs> or Nepal <laughs> or right. any other countries or Vietnam right. or, or, or whatever. And involving the other countries is going to complicate the matter and elevate it to an even uh, much larger uh, conflict.